Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. On, on today's episode, we're going to be looking at this right here. This is the Discovery um, Mind Blown Planetarium Projector. So it has a two-in-one stars and planet projection. So I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm, I'm a very big fan of planetariums and this sort of thing. Um, my first exposure to a planetarium was in the video game Silent Hill Shattered Memories. If you're familiar with that game, you're going to know what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, in the back it says that you're going to get three of these um, photo slides. So that's kind of another cool thing, all these uh, retro type of projectors. When I was in elementary school, they would bring in projectors. But anyway, that's another story. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Alright, so you get instructions. Very simple instructions, I think. Oh, you do need batteries. Double A, three of them. Which are probably not included. No, not included. And then you have two modes. You have star mode. And then you have space mode. And over here, you get this. So every one of the discovery boxes that I've bought, because I've bought three so far, they all include a poster. So if you want a poster. And by the way, I'm a grown-up. But um, even though this is for kids, I'm actually enjoying this a lot. Because um, when I was a kid, they didn't have this stuff. They had other things, but not this specific sort of thing. I gotta say, this is mind-blowing. Okay, so let's carry on. So it's now time to open it up over here. So you do need a screwdriver, which is not included. Okay, so it does have two sets of legs right here. So you can adjust it that way. So it comes out perfect. And of course, the um, focus wheel is over here. So you just focus it depending on what distance the wall is. Okay, so here's the cover which you do have to take off. So I'm not really sure how that, there we go. So this is just a protector. And these are the slides. I don't know what everything requires a tool. Okay, so here are the three slides. They're color coded. So overall, I can tell you right now that my, if you, if you just look at them through there, you could see the planets over here. More planets over here. So anyway, let's put him in. It's still daytime out there, so I don't know if it's going to work out. And let me turn off the lights. Okay, so the lights are off. So let's, um, here's the big moment. Wow! Is actually is it rotating? It's actually rotating. I wasn't expecting that. This is amazing. I'm happy. Wow. If you look at the it doesn't you can't see it in, in the camera, but it's so beautiful. Wow, this is so beautiful. So anyway, this is the star mode. And um, if you want to change it to the planet mode, 
you have to flip it around. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, like I said, this is the star mode. So when you want to look at the planets and the galaxies, you have to do this and set it down like that. And then this is the focus wheel. You can't see it, but that focuses the the projection and then you move on to the next slide with this. So let's turn off the lights. Oh, I forgot to make the switch. You go from stars to space. And on space, you can see it's already turned on. So let's turn off the lights. And, and here we have it. So let me find a good spot for it. Okay, so let's look at the planets. We have this. I don't know what that is, but it looks beautiful. Looks like a moon from one of the planets. I don't know which one. This one's definitely a moon because you can see that crater from a meteor. Another moon because you can see the crater. And um, I don't know what this, this is a planet I think. And that's a galaxy. We don't know which one. And that's another, um, I think this is a nebula. And the planet, this planet. Okay, so let's switch. All right, so that's definitely the moon, our moon. And that's the sun. I think we all know that because you can see the, you can see those solar flares. Those can cause radiation and burns. And I don't know what this is, but it's, uh, I'm gonna have to research this. This is definitely a galaxy, but it's not, it's not the Milky Way. It's some sort of, uh, different type of galaxy. And by the way, it does look better in person. The camera kind of fades it away or washes it away. I don't know what that is. It does look beautiful in person. Wow, that's nice. I can't even tell that this is something from space. And that's a galaxy. I think we all know what that is. And back to the moon. So let's um switch. So that's some sort of blue planet. Might be Neptune. I believe this is one of the last ones, the Pluto, because it doesn't have any details. And that's because our um, telescopes can't see that far away. Of course, that is um, Saturn. And that looks beautiful. And this is Jupiter right here. And that's the biggest planet. It's a gas planet. And it has that eye, the famous eye. By the way, Galileo saw this planet. He invented the telescope and he saw up, up to this planet and he was able to, to uh, recognize that it had that storm right there that's um Galileo Galilei I don't know what this is but it kind of looks like a moon from one of the planets one of the bigger planets and of course we all know what this is this is earth we all live here whether you're 
rich or poor, special, regular, whatever you think you are, you live here. This is again the sun. It looks nice. And this is definitely a moon, but I don't know which of them. I don't think it's Pluto. And Pluto's not really a planet, it's a dwarf planet. And we're back to this blue planet. Okay, so let me go to the next part. Okay, so here are the stars. So I aimed it to the sky. I should say the ceiling. And you can't see it really well because this phone doesn't pick up the faint light. But in person, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let me see if you can... If I can show it. And I definitely can, um, I can recognize some of them. I saw, I know I saw the Big Dipper and the Ursa, Ursa Manor, Ursa Major, whatever you call that. I'm not good with Greek. But it definitely does look beautiful. And here's the projector right there. And that's the ceiling. And yeah, you can definitely feel like you're rotating. Because this is rotating, so it's definitely real nice. Okay, so let's put the cover back in over here. There it locks. So this is absolutely 100% fantastic. I wish it had more slides. I'm going to find out um, if you can buy some more slides. And if so, I'm going to leave it in the comments section. I'm going to let you know if you can buy some more slides for for this device. I hope they didn't make it for just three slides, but that was absolutely beautiful. In person, it does look better. And um, do I recommend this? Either for a child, 100% yes, I do recommend it. And for a grown-up, 100% yes. So it doesn't matter. So once again, thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up.